Hi, it's Louise Bailey um, from Cute Neek Studio. So today I'm going to show you some goodies I made. These are four pockets and they're stuffed loaded pockets, but they're a bit special. They have something unique about them and that they're also shaker cards. So they're shaker pockets and you can see I've done different styles. Yeah, so we have like a vintage, vintage one. We have a colorful, bright, happy, fun one. Like God, like yeah. And there's a back, back to them. And then we have a kind of pink, sweet, vintage pink, pink one. And then another colorful one, but that has a little bit of a different style look to it. Um, yeah, okay, so um, they are stuffed to the hilt with things. I'll give you an example here. So look at all this stuff, all kinds of stuff. But here's the cool thing, see? They got little sequins. So it's like an interactive little card. It's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to show you how to make them. They're pretty easy, actually, and fun. So that's a cool thing. Uh, yeah, so you can um, do your own kind of take on it, you know. Um, I'm going to show you the basics. And then you can decide how you want to actually stuff it. And decorate it and uh, make it your own thing. So sweet, this little vintage card. I mean, really, you can fill these things, and they're fun gifts. So I'm gonna, I'm making some for pen pals, but also you can pop them in your journal. You know, you've got that one kind of section where you're like, gosh, what am I gonna do with this? And um, making a a little interactive pocket might just be the ticket. Look how sweet this is. You can write on it. That's just darling. Um, it's got all kinds of fun stuff. So a little quilt kind of recipe card. I should be showing you this fun stuff instead of babbling. Little bingo card type thing. So I already showed you this. And put this actually in the pocket. I got a pocket in the back and then I've got this pocket. So yeah, lots of places to stuff fun things. This tag, this is like a vintage affirmative or affirmation card. It's really cool. All kinds of fun stuff. So this is a journal card and it's stuffed with some nice crinkly kind of paper. Really fun. Um, you can go to town with your creativity on this. This was a card that I made into a bookmark to go on my back. And that's from a chindi rug. It's pretty cool. This was cut out of a greeting card. You can run on the back of it. That's some coffee dyed paper on there. And then this envelope I made. And you can see the trim matches that. That was a greeting card. And this is a napkin I decoupaged. And look at that. Ta-da! Now I have some... Um, nice stationery in here so yeah you can totally just go to town and have fun and they make fun gifts as well as fun inserts for your journals look at that it's so cute i'll give you a brief peek here so One of those pens I made, I have another tutorial. There's a little bee, a little pocket card. It's got all kinds of 
things to write in. All kinds of fun stuff. Um, oh, and this cute little envelope, which you can actually use it. You can put your own little stamp over that, but and it has some stationery in it. Sewing theme. Victorian. Really sweet. I'm sending this to my friend. I made it specifically for her. And this vintage envelope that has some stickers. Really fun stickers. Victorian type stickers. Isn't that fun? So it's just some little goodies tucked away in this little cute pocket. But let me show you how it shakes. It's really cute. What I love about this envelope is it's actually already vintage. Well, I, I put that on there, but it was already aged like that. So these fun things. And there's the car, the pocket. But see? Shakes. So it's so fun to put them together. Anyway. I am going to show you how to make these. And honestly, the, the base part of it, you'll find to be pretty easy. All the time and energy will go into actually decorating and coming up with your stuffers. So, but you could come up with all kinds of things. I mean, lots of little things you can stuff it with. How fun is that? Oh, I love it. So this little vintage one, and uh, a little tag, and a little envelope I made um, with some German words. It is a German dictionary. And in here is some stationery. A little pen I made. Actually, in the tutorial I have, I show you, this is the pen that I make in my tutorial. A postcard that I kind of grunged up, make it fit with that vintage theme, some stationery. Um, this is really fun. There's some coffee dyed papers that I've stapled. Yeah, and underneath is really fun, crinkly kind of stuff. Another envelope that it's already, it was already aged like this. And I put some coffee dyed papers in there. And a bookmark that I made. Here. Kind of like just a little fun one. Little dangles. Kinds of fun stuff. And a, this, oh, sorry, this is not a pin. This is, um, check this out. I've got a whole stack of these at the charity shop, but it folds out. So, isn't that cool? Useful little thing. And I'm going to just have it put together with this little doodad. Let's see. I might have to just retie it. It's fine. Yep. No worries. Um, it's just a little bow, so. That's super fun. You could put sc a scroll would be fun. Um... All sorts of things, you know, stuffed envelopes, po other little pockets, bookmarks, all kinds of just fun things. And look, see, little sprinkles, little sequins. Okay, so you, you stuff that pocket. I'm going to show you the inside of this one here. It's fun, colorful. See, I even have fun. And again, it's just stuffed with all kinds of cool stuff. This is a vintage card. A little toothpick. I made this tag. Go right on the back of that. I made this tag. These are really fun. And here, this was a greeting card that I sewed together. 
and put some recipe cards in. And it really is pretty, cute, sweet. Yeah, you can see it was a vintage, used vintage card. I get them from estate sales. You know, people don't want them anymore. They've been used. Who wants to use greeting cards? Well, I, I take them and use all the bits and bobs. You can see here. And then this was some paper that I turned into an envelope. Very colorful. And I put some stationery in here that I cut from paper. So you can run the backs. So, yeah, lots of fun. You can go to town, use your creativity, and just do unique, fun, interesting shaker pockets. See, look at that. How fun is that? Lovely. I'm so excited to make these. Okay, so we're going to attempt to make a. I am going to have to put the air on, and I do apologize, but it is summer here. And even in the cold mountains, bear with me. Sorry. We're going to put it on low. Even in the cool mountains, it's still hot as ever here. Okay, so. To make your shaker card, you're going to need some card stock. Um, you can use whatever you want. Let me see if I can zoom in here. This is an actual card. Okay, so I find it just easy because you can just cut your cut your shape out. Um, and then you're going to need your plastic bit. See here, plastic. Um, I use a Ziploc bag. So Ziploc bag you can cut, but I also, um, my husband gave me these, this pack of poly bags that he didn't need for his, but he actually, he ordered the wrong ones. So I use them for a variety, variety of things, but we're going to use it as our inside part. Um, okay, you know, things to, to decorate with, but we'll get to that part. And you'll need some sequins. Okay. And then I'll just use my X-Acto knife. Now, you can do any shape you want. You can do rectangle, just easy, square, oval. I mean, you know, you could just rip that shape out and make it organic looking. It doesn't have to be precise. Okay. So, use your imagination. But it's just super easy to... Super easy to cut through this. I'll put some cardboard I'm just using a real cheap exacto knife here as well. I probably should invest in a really nice one, but I'm trying not to spend any money on this. I'm trying to just use what I have. It's working. I'm actually almost done. So just make sure you leave like a, a picture frame type edge around it. So don't, I wouldn't cut it too thin around here because it'll be hard to kind of work with. You know, just leave yourself like an inch or so. Because you're going to have to glue the plastic part inside, so. Make sure I don't never cut like this okay because that thing slips you're gonna go right through there and you don't want to do that so always make sure you're cutting away from that very important part of your body i knew somebody who did that okay so you cut that out the front of your card 
and save this piece because this could be turned into a fun tag or something, anything, right? Be really fun. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I don't have to ink these edges. If you had light kind of paper, you might feel like you have to. Okay, so now you want to cut your your plastic piece. Another thing that you can use for this part is save your packaging. Uh, if you buy a craft supplies and they come wrapped in that kind of cellophane packaging, that works as well. Um, there's two ways to do this. You could put just, just put a single layer of the plastic, okay, which is what I've done right here. That's just one layer. Um, you could also put it to where you have, I have an example of it, a bag. Um, so that's two, that's the two pieces. I'm going to do that part. I'm going to show you how to do that part. Okay, so where did we You know, you make these videos and you hear about people complaining of, you know, don't walk away from the video. I can't stand when you do that. I can't stand when you chit chat. I can't stand when you make me look at the cover for this long, blah, blah. And um, all I can say is, you know, just make your own videos. <laughs> I mean, we're doing our best here. We're just, you know, my, my goal, my main goal in life is not to be a videographer. I can't afford one, so I'm doing my best. And uh, and I appreciate that other people do the best. Now, if you want a white background, by all means, you can have a white background. I think that would be kind of a boring background. So I'm going to give it a bit of a something a little bit fun. I would because you're doing. Um, because you're doing, you know, sprinkles, sequins, you don't want something that's too patterned or you really won't see it. And then you do. Maybe it'll work. It's like the Betsy Johnson type thing where you've got just like patterns and colors everywhere. Go for it. I'm going to do just a dull background because um, the sequins will show up better. Now that's going to be upside. I know it actually. We can do it this way. That's perfect, actually, because then I've got a natural pocket. Duh. All right, so I'm going to keep... You could do just one layer. It doesn't matter. You could do two layers, one layer. Okay. So what you're going to do is... You can use double-sided tape if you want. It's fine. And um, because I've got this open here, I can go ahead and glue this on here. Go. And my apologies if I'm not doing this perfect for you. as far as filming goes, but anyway, I go around the edge there, pop this on, this one's a bit short, but and it's fine that I have that extra glue there because it's, the paper's going to go on it, so I need to go under there. need heaps of it. Okay. Just make sure you don't have any hairs or anything there. All right, then I take some sequins. Um, you can use confetti. You can use, um, I mean, really all kinds of things. There's, you know, more than just sequins, but I think these sequins are going to be pretty 
you don't want to skimp, but you don't want to put too many to where it's just too fat. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this part closed. Oops, wrong thing. So I'm just going to glue the edge. Again, you could just have the single sheet. You don't need a double sheet. But since it's a bag already folded, it was just kind of easy to do it that way. And no one's ever going to see this part, so it doesn't have to be pretty. Then you glue your background paper. So I want to make sure I glue it the right way. This way. All right, so then you glue this part. Just getting those unstuck. Okay. And you just go around the edge again. So you're basically doing like layers of glue. Okay. Pop it on there. Smush it down a little bit. Fold it. Ta da! All right, and then you just glue your edges. So you're gonna have, don't do that top because that's gonna be your pocket part. Your pocket opening. No. So I'm just gluing the sides. And now you have a shaker card. So literally, at this point, all you have to do is decorate it and stuff it. Ta-da! Isn't it pretty? Okay, so, I'm definitely gonna probably use that part to make some kind of tag. And to decorate it, um, I did grab just a whole bunch of stuff that kind of, you know, throughout my studio that kind of looks like the same color scheme, plus some contrasts. So, um, you don't want it to all look exactly the same color. And we'll just see what we come up with. I've got a little bit of a purple thing going on here. And we also need some extra papers. Sorry, I keep having more about camera. a variety of papers. So, um, you kind of have like that boho kind of look and feel to them. I may not use all of these, but I'm going to use contrast as well. And then I have this actual entire paper pad here. I've had it forever and haven't used it in a long time. So it's going to have some good colors and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so um, we need to decorate. Now, um, I just grabbed some bits and bobs really. We'll see what we come up with. That's kind of nice. Um, it's always good to have, you know, like some trim of some sort. poking out so what I do is it's kind of flatter. I like that. I'm gonna cut this part off. 
which could be used in a cluster at some point. Alrighty, I like that. So we're just going to start gluing. So we're kind of going with a boho theme here, which is nice. I've got the kind of natural nature one, the pink Victorian one. And then the colorful one, so this will be fun. It'll, this will be colorful, but it'll also be the home. Because I like to challenge myself to make different themes. I don't have pen, pen pals. I like to send homemade things too, and they all are so different from each other. We all have different styles, which I love, because when they send me something, I'm like, oh, I can see their style shining through. It's like their signature. do some kind of contrast. Yeah, I love that, but it's just not going to be the right thing. Um, now, don't forget to decorate the back. Um, got this pocket, which is kind of cute and boho, but it's a bit, it's a bit thick, so maybe not. Maybe this is where we'll get some of that paper. Let's see what we got here. I mean, it'll look nice, but I want something that kind of blends nicely with it. I think we might go with this um, this paper here, and we'll make another pocket on the back. And it needs punch. Yep. So. to cover that. I could just use scissors so and don't feel like you have to have this equipment, it's just that I have it and we use it. It is handy dandy to have one of these. For the longest time, I was like, oh, I don't need that, I have scissors! And then I broke down and got one, I'm like, oh, how did I live without this? Okay, I love how that's looking though. It's really nice. Oh, also too, like you'll see on some of these, I'll glue um, you know, like something on the inside as well. But this one I like because it already has that script. So we're good. Okay. And what I need right there, and that's going to show, so we'll put something underneath it as well. What can we put underneath it? Something a little bit light and thin. Go a little bit over. Oh. And I'm going to show you how you don't need one of those. And it's handy. Now I have another video where I show you how to make shaker cards out of using CD sleeves. So take a look at that video as well. Um, this is just a little bit something um, different but similar. And I put a template on that one too that you can just cut out. I want to take a look at that one. Actually, I can go ahead. I don't have to save some paper. Okay. And then 
use a straight line. Actually, I'm going to rip it. I, I really like kind of a raw, organic kind of. And don't throw those scraps away because those will come in handy. Um, so I'm going to ink that. And then I'm going to cover it like that. And then I'm going to put this over here like that. But before I do that, make sure to see what's upside down like that. I'm going to cut a little notch because it's easier to pull things out of pockets when they have a little notch. Like, see, I'm going like just a little half moon type thing. Cut it like that. That way when you, um, it just makes it easier to pull things out of the pocket. And I could do this like a double pocket, so why not? So we're going to do a double pocket. the first one so I'll put some although I didn't really have to put glue on that bottom edge because then it's just a pocket that goes right through it that's okay because we'll put some cute little things in that one being very generous with my glue. You could be more reserved if you want. But I want it to stick. There. So now the back, you'd never know. And we'll stuff it with some fun stuff. that edge so it blends in nicely. And it shakes. I mean it's already looking like you can pretty much be done with it, but we're gonna keep going. Um let's see. I need some stuff to decorate it with. I've got this snipper roll I made ages ago. It's kind of boho looking. Too much. I might just snip a little piece off of it. We'll snip here for right now. You can always go smaller. Yeah, I don't want to cover up the sequins though. I have a huge box of real sta sta used stamps as well. Stamps always come in, especially if you're doing boho because it's like traveling. Stamps kind of give a feel of travel. And don't be afraid to go over that edge, okay? See, like you can see here, I went over that heart. So don't feel like you can't, you know, cover it at all. It gives it, yeah, it gives it some kind of dimension. This is like a little strip of boho fabric. You know, maybe a snippet of this. This is a Mexican bark paper. It's really pretty. So maybe we'll just um, cut a little back. So pretty. Yep, I think that's going to go like that. Ooh, 
There we go. Let me put like a key or some kind of charm here. me this is the part that takes the longest is to decide what you want to put every where you want to put everything definitely need something there let's see what I have here this trim here it's a ribbon trim so you gotta be careful when you cut it I like it. I think it works. I just gotta make sure. And then we have this like flag stuff here. And we'll just crumple it up like that. Stick a charm or a button. Okay. Um we we'll stick some, maybe like a washi tape down there. breaks up the monotony. I'm running out of glue. And out of, you know, I showed you all those I made. Been busy. So I showed you the base part. That's really all you need to know. This rest of this is literally just decorating. But you know, again, you take some card, fold it, and um, you glue a bit of plastic, or, or you know, sorry, you cut your window out. Glue, put a bit, a bit of plastic. I use you know, Ziploc bag works really well, and um, or the packaging bags works really well. That looks good too. Um, just glue around the edges, and then put you a background paper unless your card has like say you have a double sided card maybe it's got a pattern that you're quite fond of or you could even use white be fine with white put your background put your sprinkles in there or whatever you want to call them your stuff you want to shake around and um then just glue the edges together and then that's it, you've got what you primarily need. Okay, so now I need to um, I think what I need now is like a button. Where are my buttons? I'm very naughty in the buttons. It's hard to pre-gather when you don't know quite what you're going to um, do for your design. But I like how this is turning out. There. So I'll that. And then 
you just stuff it. So I think I'm done with the, I might add like a word or two here and there. Um, that to be a bit flatter, so we're gonna have to leave that there. There we go. So there were some beads, beads in the way. Um, let's see. Clip. There we go. We'll let that dry. And I just felt like that needed to come off. Well, that big glove. Sometimes hanging over is fine, but they look kind of weird. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, I have these boho beads. That's another thing you can hang from it. But I think we might hang that from like a tag or something. Alright, so um, I have some things that I've made that might go. That is a hidden paper clip. So inside of the paper clip, so this will attach. And it's just like a little envelope I had. It's like a little booklet here. Let's see how it's so you can write on that booklet. It's got cathedral, it's very boho looking. Just to get an idea. I have this one here I made. That one kind of goes better, I think. Uh, let's see. This is a tag I made with that Mexican bark paper. And um, we're going to turn this into a tag. Just get an idea of what we need to make. So I'm thinking, oh, I've got these um, index cards we can decorate up as some stationery. It's just literally just spritzed with stuff, but it's got that blue, so that could be turned into some stationery, maybe in a card of some sort. See what else we got. I mean, you really just go to town and stuff these things. Um, I'm trying to think. Got some masking tape stickers. Why not? I'm thinking an envelope, you know, an envelope that's stuffed would look nice. So we're going to make an envelope out of some of our paper. So what, what would look good as an envelope? I like having a contrast. That's going to be too thick. That's a nice contrast there as well. So, do this one. And Hopefully, I can pause that. But now I've got this envelope maker, comes in handy. So I'm just trying to get an idea of what all we need to do to stuff that. Um, let's see, card size. So five. Three by five should go pretty good, six and three quarters an inch. Okay, so this is where these things come in handy because that doodad, that little gadget said cut your paper down to six and three quarters of an inch. And watch how easy this is. 
six and three quarters. Virtually just. And then you turn it because it wouldn't get to be six and three quarters on both sides. And there we go. It's just so easy. And I like for it to have an inside so it's not just plain white all wood. Uh, you can use anything, you know, you can use paper or whatever, but napkin tends to work really well. One of my videos, I struggled on getting the the two the different layers off the plies, and I saw somewhere I can't remember where now. I think it might be Linda Israel's one of her videos, and you're struggling with it, and you take some tape. And it's not going to work all the time, and this is washi tape, so it may not work at all. But regular tape. See how it, it pulls it up the different layers off. Gets you going at least, gets it started. So that's kind of nifty. You could just um, cut some another six and three quarter inch paper. And you probably want it too thin, make it too thick, and just glue some paper on the back. That's easy as well, and makes it nice. Or you can use rubber stamps. I've done that before too, where you just um, take your pattern, a rubber stamp pattern. And do that. So... Already, oh, I already have this napkin. We're going to use it. Mod Podge works really well for gluing down napkins as well. But I find a glue stick works just as well most situations, not all. If you get a wrinkle, you can usually just pick it right back up. Smooth it down. And I don't throw these away. I save those and make a fun washi tape, but I need to do a tutorial on Okay, so now we go back to this little doodad here, and it says six and three quarters. Two and three fourths is the score line. Two and three fourths, and you just punch. Okay. And then there's a little notch here, and you want to 
crease it right there. Now your next one, you're not going to go two and three quarters again. You're going to line this thing here up with your notch. Okay. And crease. And you just keep going in that counterclockwise way. Pinch. It's a really nifty tool. Um, it's one of the first tools I got when I first started junk journaling many years ago. And it is invaluable. Okay, so now you'll have your score lines here and you can just fold it in. And you have this gadget here, you can give it a good crease. Or if you have your bone folder, um, yeah, old bone tool for folding, bone folder. Those work really well. And I do have a few of those, but not quite fine. All right, so um, you can either have it on the outside. What I do is I tend to fold that in. This is just my personal preference. Not necessarily how it's supposed to be done. See? And then you just glue it or double side tape it, whatever you want to do. You can even washi tape it if you want to add some decor. Stuck there. How that happened. All right, so now we have an envelope. Um, this is a preference, a personal preference if you want a, a pointy end, okay, if you want it rounded, or if you have a fancy punch, you can always do a fancy punch, or you can round it. Um, actually, you know, I moved it out of the way. I should have shown you, and I've now, of course, lost it, but the envelope maker, it has a corner punch at the top. So if you want to ink it up, but since I'm kind of going with a boho theme here, I didn't mean to, but it's definitely turning boho looking. I'm going to ink edges. Not too much, but just to close them out. I don't want it to look like a brand new made envelope. I want it to look like something that's been found in an old steam engine trunk or something like that. Um, okay, so now we have an envelope and the inside's pretty as well. It's up to you if you want to decorate it. Um, but it is quite nice to do that. Let's see what I have. Maybe some washi. Uh, pen pal friend. Or actually, no, a new junk journal group. I mean, it's a new group. And it's so much fun. It's called... Uh, Journal swap, create, repeat. All those together. And um, it's on Facebook. And I have met some of the most amazing junk journalers. They're very supportive, friendly, and there's loads of challenges. And then we also, we have a little uh, weekly thing where we, um, called Wishing Well. So you can post some wishes you'd like fulfilled. And, or, and you can grant wishes. So those washi tapes came from, I had posted that I'd like some, I have washi tapes, but 
you know, when you've been using the same ones for years and years and years, and you could, of course, go buy some new ones, but then if I, I'm going to grant somebody's wishes, and somebody grants mine, it's kind of like a little merry-go-round, a little roundabout, and we go around granting each other's wishes. So, after I do this, I'm going to work on the wishes that I'm granting, which are dyed papers, laces, trims, and then some vintage stuff. And I'll get it in the post. Alright. I like to kind of leave these areas here open just in case whoever receives it, it's like, you know what, I'd like to actually use that envelope. So we'll um, just leave it. So it can be actually used. Alright, I'm just decorating this a little bit. this washi tape and I'm tempted to use it. It's a paper bag and I put double-sided tape on the back and then I stamped it and then decorated it. I just did it because it's fun and I'm very tempted to use a snippet of it. But then at the same time I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's see, I think maybe a button, some kind of little treasure, maybe a little flower. Just something, to, it needs something that's too straight edged. You see what I'm saying? It needs something to kind of break up the monotony there. These are called mulberry flowers, and um, I have them all kinds of colors. I find they're just useful to just, uh, I have them nearby. I probably should put them in something prettier than a boring old plastic bag. Um, they are perfect when you need that just that little extra touch somewhere. Pop you a mulberry flower. And they come in all kinds of colors, some have sparkles. I'm gonna angle it a bit so I don't have all these straight lines. Just for fun. Now I need something in it. I have, I have these coffee dyed, so coffee dyed graph paper. I love it because it's nice and crinkly. And it goes with the look and feel. So I'm going to pop those in there. Okay, so now we have a stuffed envelope, and it can be used for just the decoration. Let's see what we have so far. All right, so we have this kind of little booklet I showed before, and you can use that to journal in. It has this. Oh, oh this was something new. I was making, um, I have a tutorial I just posted that's called Hidden Paper Clips. Yeah, so this is actually a hidden paper clip. Uh, so go look at that tutorial. This was one that I, I, I made, but I used these old vintage paper clips, and they just are way too industrial heavy. Um, so uh, this one wound up being one uh, a hidden paper clip I couldn't use, but then I unfolded it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's perfect as a bookmark. How perfect is that? And it goes nicely with this. It'll match that envelope too, see? How perfect. So it got thrown in here. And there's the actual pocket. Um, I just like that. I don't know why I'm going to throw it in there. And then I have this tag. It's fun. It's this prettiness. And then this, actually, this envelope has some paper in it. This, this is the envelope that came with this card. It was a little pack. I want to say I got it from Tuesday morning. Um, I still feel like this would be perfect, you know what I mean? I might just fold it and tuck it in there, and it can just be whoever gets it gets this lovely roll of double-sided tape. 
Okay, well, let's, let's start stuffing. And then we have this pocket to the back, too. Oops. I put some more glue there. I'm glad I did that. It probably would have stuck, but I pulled it apart. Let me put some more glue. It's always good to go through a little test run anyway to make sure that everything's sticking. It all sticks to me. It has no problem sticking to me. I love that. See, little shakies. Now, once you stuff it, those won't shake so much, but that's okay because then whoever receives it, so they're gonna, you know, take everything out, and then they can shake it. All right, so let's not pull that part. There we go. I'm just getting any excess glue that might have popped up, so things don't stick. so nice. This envelope is perfect. Now I'm going to put it in like that. That way that shows at the top. And it might get hidden still, but I just like to, you know, the decorative stuff, kind of have it poking up. And you don't have to shove it all the way down there. Since this is tall, we'll pop it in the back. Actually, we'll probably stick it in here. That'll, that'll go nicely in one of these pockets here because it'll still... show. Now something... This fell off or something. I'm gonna pop it in there. And it's actually too floppy, so it's gonna go in here. Where am I? There we go. It has to be poked in there a little bit. But it's nice, and you can actually, you know, this part here, you can always put it over like that. Um, then we have this envelope here, so let's try that in the back. Put it like that. It's kind of like wrapping a gift, trying to figure out where what's going to go where. I still need to decorate that a little bit. It doesn't need much though because it's very sparkly. Alrighty. I'll break up the monotony here. Put it in upside down. There we go, like that. We have this card. That's probably plenty back there. This heart. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to go in there, but it looks good enough. pocket and then when they take everything out oh, it actually still kind of wiggles a bit when they take everything else it's it's nice and shaky okay so let's just go around and see if it needs any other I mean I feel like it needs something here but not much oh I said I was gonna put that in there on let's see it has to go in here that get some washi tape, homemade washi tape, because it's just so awesome. I love it. Okay. Um, doesn't need much. Just a little something, really. Um, so we can add it after the fact. Maybe we'll go with, um, 
this once. And we'll do it angled. Not everything has to be straight. Kind of vin vin vintage, vintify, vintage buys it. It's a new word I'm trying to make up here. Vintifies it, vintage buys it. Up a bit of the shiny, and then we'll put this in music. And to be honest with you, I would think moths in space would make some interesting music. So there we go. Um, possibly a stamp. Those are always good to have on hand too. Those little flowers, stamps music paper you could rip strips you know little things like that i find i just always am using yeah on uh to decorate and that's why my craft room shed studio gets into a mess because all these little bits and pieces after i've made a few projects are like all over the place yeah just a little something now it breaks it up okay so now we have our Life is a journey. I love it. It's fantastic. So now I have all these pouches that I'm going to um, send to my friends. I don't know who this one is going to go to yet, but I made all these with someone in mind. I might make some pens to go in these as well. Why not? As they say, actually, I've got a pen. Oh, you guys, look at this. I this one is in my tutorial on my pens. So it's already made, it's sitting there waiting, but it's got this little purple and it has that kind of look and feel. How perfect is that? So pop it in there. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is going to get tucked in there because it's now too stuffed for it. Look at that. Okay. Look at all of these. Oh, I'm so excited. I could just sit here and stare at things when they're like this. And then I have these colorful ones because I have some friends that really like colorful things. And when they take everything out their pockets, it'll, um, it'll, it'll shake. So there we go. I'm going to go get a snapshot of these. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks and bye for now.